Whoa, there's something under the tree. And it's for me. Awesome. All right, let's get this inside and unwrapped. All right, let's get the paper off this. Hey! It's the Freescale Tower System. Alright, funny Christmas stuff aside, um, I bought this off Freescale uh, just before Christmas uh, for about $99 US, which at the time converted to about $120 Australian. And um, there's three parts to it. Um, I'll pull this apart in a second, but um, I mainly got it to play around with the MCF51CN uh, microcontroller um, and uh, that's the main uh, microcontroller board there and it's also got a serial uh, module as part of it. Uh, let's take out the elevator modules. Right, so they're really just uh, two sides there. Some power supply stuff uh, on this it looks like, and uh, the connectors are more or less just um, PCI uh, PCI connectors for the floors. The main floor, and as you can see there, it uh, says so primary. And there's the MCF 51CN128 right there. Oops, sorry, get that into shot. And this is the serial module. Uh, so in fact it's got um, the serial interface and uh, the Ethernet interface on here. And uh, a USB connections. Yeah. You can see there it says secondary. The package also comes with uh, CDs and cables. Alright, so that's the three boxes. Let's see if we can put this together. Okay, so it looks like the uh, the USB connector on the um, on the elevator boards um, is just for power. There's a little uh, a little bit on the silk screen there that says power only. Grab a couple of the quick start guides. CD there with um, version 1 um, stuff for the version 1 cold fire. Um, complementary um, stacks. Uh, labs and tutorials. Power. through the USB and turn the switch on some LEDs on the side to indicate uh, 5 volts and 3.3 .3 volts so the the regulators appear to be working okay straight out of the box um, that there's an accelerometer um, program running and you can see the LEDs on the front here if I um, if I hold it steady ish and then uh, tip it to the left it'll indicate uh, how far on angle it is to the left and then if I tip it to the right it'll indicate in the other direction so uh, that's one of the things loaded in there straight out of the box I've had a chance now to have a look at the schematics for the board this is uh, for the main microcontroller board of the tower this is uh, the MCF 51CN128 microcontroller just some power filter stuff and the power signals for the chip itself microcontroller itself on this board there's two PCI Express Edge connectors and this one's routing all the signals as well as 5 volts ground and 3.3 .3 volts
uh, down here is a uh, minibus address latch, 8-bit uh, address latch if you want to be using that and uh, crystal oscillator options for the microcontroller 25 megahertz, 32.768 kilohertz, all your own frequency. This is um, on the underside of the board is a circuit for the background debug module and this is a freescale microcontroller just with the programming interface built into it and that's the connector that they would have used to program this microcontroller. This microcontroller has a USB input to connect to the PC and on the output is the background debug signals that are going into the microcontroller itself and uh, they're being uh, buffered here and uh, there's also, if you have your own background debug module programmer, you can uh, use the standard connector. Uh, power regulator. I believe this uh, RS-232 converter is uh, really just for the background debug module. Uh, but I think you can route it to the main microcontroller if you want to. And that's just a 10-way pin header. This is the accelerometer, some LEDs, push buttons, two-way dip switch, uh, peripheral select jumpers, and uh, analog input, uh, that's a pot. And uh, on the bottom is just the, uh, on the other side of the board, the uh, PCI Express Edge connector, and that's just routing the ground signals. This is one wall of the tower, uh, one side of it, and uh, these are the inward-facing PCI Express that are just routing the ground signals on one side of the elevator. This is the other side of the elevator for inward facing PCI Express uh, routing all the signals. Uh, there's two 2x40 two connectors outward facing and I've seen an application where an LCD screen circuit board has been uh, attached to the side of the tower so there's a number of signals there for connecting things and on that elevator board is uh, the power in as a regulator USB uh, some chokes and uh, this is the serial board which is on another level of the tower so this is the the functional PCI port, uh, Express port of course that they're not PCI Express signals. Uh, CAN, USB, RS-232, Ethernet, and the power, I squared C, and on the dummy one just ground, down here is the CAN transceiver, a DB9 for the RS-232, or RS-485 or RS-422, depending on how you uh, set your uh, jumper selection. Um, this is the USB section and uh, power for, for USB. Um, this can be set up to be just host, just uh, device or USB on the go and there's a, a chip here to help out with USB on the go uh, whether it's going to be hosting or if it's going to be a device um, <coughs> providing the right sort of power. Uh, uh, pull resistors as needed and it can also tell um, the microcontroller the vendor ID and the product ID before the microcontroller uh, that can be done through I2C before the microcontroller needs to do any talking on USB itself and uh, this here is just a um, power distribution IC uh, with uh, thermal shutdown and uh, current limiting capabilities and up here is the micro ethernet phi and the ethernet connector some LEDs on the connector some configuration jumper settings and some options for frequencies into the micro ethernet phi so uh, lots of um, jumper link headers everywhere for you to uh, configure it the way you need to. That's about it.